The Duke of Sussex has traveled to the UK for a trip focused on the Invictus Games, the service of Thanksgiving. Commemorating the 10th anniversary of Prince Harry's Invictus Games saw a notable absence of senior members of the royal family. Despite this, the Duke of Sussex made his return to the UK for the first time since February when he visited his father, King Charles, following the announcement of the monarch's cancer diagnosis. During the service, Prince Harry delivered a reading, marking his presence at the event despite the absence of other senior royals. Prince Harry's attendance at a service of Thanksgiving in London to mark the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games did not bring together members of the royal family. Despite his presence, notable family members including King Charles, Prince William and Kate Middleton were not in attendance. The Duke of Sussex traveled from his home in California to the UK to commemorate the milestone of the International Adaptive Sports Tournament for wounded, injured, and sick service personnel and veterans, which he founded in 2014. However, it was revealed earlier in the week that Harry would not be able to meet with his father, King Charles, during his visit due to the monarch's full schedule. The king was hosting a palace garden party at Buckingham Palace at the same time as the service of Thanksgiving. The garden party was attended by other royal family members, including Princess Anne, Prince Edward, Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh, and the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester. A spokesperson for the Duke of Sussex stated, in response to the many inquiries and continued speculation on whether or not the Duke will meet with his father while in the UK this week, it unfortunately will not be possible due to His Majesty's full program. The Duke, of course, is understanding of his father's diary of commitments and various other priorities and hopes to see him soon. Meghan Markle has decided not to accompany Prince Harry on his upcoming trip to the UK next month. Instead, the Duke of Sussex will be heading to Nigeria alone, following his visit to his home country. This decision comes after Prince Harry traveled to the UK in February to privately visit his father, King Charles, after Buckingham Palace announced the monarch's cancer diagnosis. During this visit, Prince Harry did not meet with his brother, Prince William, or his sister-in-law, Princess Kate. There were reportedly no plans for the brothers to get together at that time. In March, Princess Kate announced that she was undergoing treatment for cancer following abdominal surgery in January. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle privately reached out to the Prince and Princess of Wales to offer their support amid Kate's diagnosis. Additionally, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex released a statement expressing their well wishes for Kate and her family, emphasizing their hope for privacy and peace during this challenging time. Following King Charles's treatment, he resumed forward-facing duties on April 30th, with Queen Camilla expressing that he was really thrilled to be out. Despite these developments, Meghan Markle has opted not to join Prince Harry on his upcoming trip to the UK, indicating their continued support for the Prince and Princess of Wales from afar. Prior to the announcement of the Princess of Wales's cancer diagnosis, a family source revealed to people that Prince Harry and Meghan were kept in the dark about her abdominal surgery and recovery. They are aware of everything that goes on back in England, but are being left out of any details regarding Kate, the source disclosed. There is clearly no trust. During Prince Harry's Invictus-focused trip, the itinerary included a panel discussion, and the Duke of Sussex delivered a reading at St. Paul's Cathedral during the service of Thanksgiving. Actor Damien Lewis, known for his role in Homeland, recited the poem Invictus, which inspired the competition's motto. The ceremony was attended by representatives from participating nations of the Invictus Games, including members of the wounded, injured, and sick service personnel and veteran community. Community members, supporters, and beneficiaries also participated in readings during the service, led by the very Reverend Andrew Tremlett, Dean of St. Paul's S. Prince Harry embarked on his latest trip to the UK on April 28th, traveling without his wife, Meghan, 42. However, the couple is set to reunite soon for a visit to Nigeria. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex received an invitation from the Chief of Defense Staff, Nigeria's highest ranking military official, to travel to the country later this week. During their visit, 
Prince Harry and Meghan will meet with service members and engage in various cultural activities. Nigeria participated in the sixth cycle of the Adaptive Sports Tournament in Dusseldorf, Germany in September 2023, marking its debut. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex spent time with the Nigerian team and fans during the event. Prince Harry humorously shared that Meghan was supporting the Nigerian squad at the opening ceremony after discovering her Nigerian heritage, a revelation made on her Archetypes podcast in 2022. Nigerian Minister of Defense Al Haji. Mohammed Abubakar Badaru also attended the competition in Germany and has expressed interest in hosting the Invictus Games in the future. While plans for the next Invictus Games are set for Vancouver and Whistler, Canada in February 2025, discussions for the eighth iteration of the event suggest a possible return to the United States. The Invictus Games Foundation recently revealed that Washington, D.C. and Birmingham, U.K. are the shortlisted cities hoping to host the 2027 Invictus Games. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and leave a comment below. Your support means the world to us.